again. Uh, we're now back at the office. I can see our environment's changed a little bit. Uh, today, in this example, we're just going to look at importing files. So we'll have a look at uh, some samples we've got. Uh, during the whole anonymous thing, uh, we managed to pull two CSV files. One was an alias to an IP address, so where they, they were logging, so an SSH login to a specific machine. And then the other one was a list of hash passwords that have been cracked um, for users on specific boxes. So we look at importing them and how the links work together. And then the second example I want to show is I've got two um, error dump samples. So just someone who's done some uh, war driving, uh, just sniffed, uh, you know, various things, including um, they found all the individual users and they probed uh, BSS IDs. So now you can start seeing, okay, well, this user has a machine that's looking for these specific APs, and then you can use that from there. So let's start with that. Okay, so the first thing, I've got an empty graph. Uh, I'm just going to use Control T. And I, I start a new graph. There we go. Okay, and uh, to import files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the globe icon. I'm going to say import and import graph from table. Okay, now it's going to give me like, you know, just a standard file wizard. Um, I'm going to go to where we have these files. And I'm going to change this to CSV files. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the first error dump sample. You'll see it gives you like quite a nice overview of the file. And, uh, you know, you can start mapping specific columns. So for the examples I want to do, I'm just going to pick uh, the station Mac. So the individual user, I'm going to make this a person. So I've selected the top of the column and then changed the entity type. Um, and in this one, I'm going to use the probe DSS IDs. So I'm going to select that column again, and now I'm going to change this. And in this case, I'm just going to use a phrase as what the specific address is looking for. Okay, I click next. Uh, I have an option to import all rows or just a specific amount um, or limit your graph size. Because remember, once you've got a graph of say 10,000 nodes, I mean, you you know, you, there's really a lot on the graph, and you're going to struggle to do sort of functional work with it because there's just so much information. So I click next again. It's importing it, and then I can say add to a new graph or the current graph. Um, and let's start with a new graph. Uh, when you select a current graph, it's going to merge entities. So as soon as you've got two files that you're importing onto the same graph, um, and they're the same type and value then it's going to merge them together so you can start looking at links and that's what we'll do now okay so import the, f import the first file um, you'll see here that there's a basic there's a person um, just going to remove that one so I've selected it press delete yes and you can see that these are all you know sort of the MAC addresses of your things linked to up to a specific probe um, AP and then here's one uh, of course, this is blank, so we don't actually want this, and we don't want any of the users above it. So one of the nice things that you can do is you can do parent and child selection within Multigo. So basically, you select a node, and then you can use the the buttons under the Investigate tab, and you can do select children, uh, select parents, select children, add. So include in my selection the the parents and the child, or add parents, include this selection and whatever's above it. So in this case, I'm going to go add parents, and now I've got the whole range that I want to delete. Um, what I find easier than using the buttons is just the shortcuts. So I select my base entity and then I can use control up just to select the next, uh, the parent, or down to select the child. And if I hold control and shift, then it'll do, um, I'll add them. So then I'm going to add them together, just use control shift up, and I'm going to press delete, and I'm going to delete these icons, these entities. So now I've just got the ones that I'm interested in. Uh, both these guys obviously probe for the same thing and so on. And now this is, you know, this is not that interesting maybe um, to see these because what we really want to do is we want to import another uh, error dump sample and we want to see, okay, where has someone probed uh, for two different uh, APs and I can start linking them between different locations uh, where I've done my war driving. So now I'm going to do it again, click import, import graph from table. And I'm going to change that to CSV files. I'm going to select my second sample. And again, I'm going to click on the column on the heading. I'm going to change this to a person. I'm going to click on the probed ESSIDs. And I'm going to change this 
to a phrase. I think that's what we're using. Of course, you can map these to anything that you want. Uh, I'm just sticking with the same system that I used earlier. Okay, then next, I'm going to import all the rows. And now I'm going to say current graph, because now I want it to merge entities. And you'll see what that looks like now. Click finish. And now it's starting to uh, display a bigger graph. Now I'm going to switch it to dynamic mode. So you'll see how all the individual APs and now expanding out. And now it gets more interesting for me to analyze things. So I can have a look um, at something like this group. So I can see, well, this guy's probed for this and these two as well. Uh, but they've also probed for these. So now I can start saying, well, this guy and this guy are both linked together. Um, another nice way to do it if you want to, if you've got quite a large messy graph, is that you can select two entities and you can use the add path uh, function in the menu. And that's going to show you, okay, possible links between these two. So I can use that and now I've got a selection of them. So now I know how they link together. Um, and then generally what we'll do is we'll right click on once they're selected and say copy to new graph with links. So once I do that, now I have just this bit of information that I want. Okay, so that's a nice way to kind of analyze your error dump files. Um, of course, you can do it with um, the standard format as well. I just na named mine to CSV just so it's easier for the client to, to import them. Okay, I'm going to close this graph. Okay, so the next example we're going to look at is using the uh, CSV files that we got of the anonymous um, that were leaked on Pastebin, I think. Uh, one of the Pastebin sites uh, shows the username and the IP address. So I'm going to import that first. I'm going to say import graph from table, change this to CSV. I'm going to say non alias IP all. Uh, it really did just copy and paste. The first column is obviously the alias, so I'm going to map it to an alias. And the second column is an IP address, so I'm going to map this to an IP address. Click next, next, uh, and finish. And now I've got a graph of all the different aliases mapping out to individual IP addresses. So you can see here these aliases on this IP address um, and of course there's a couple of 127001s. So I'm going to delete these again. So I'm going to select that root entity, control shift up and then I'm going to delete that. Okay, so that's now deleted. Um, so this is pretty interesting to just start looking at uh, if there's any different Usernames connecting to the same IP addresses, so things like kind of correlating aliases to IP addresses. Uh, but what we're going to do now um, obviously makes this a lot more interesting. I'm going to click import, and now I'm going to import the alias to passwords. All right, so I'm going to map my first column to an alias again, map my second column to a password. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a phrase for this. There's a phrase. And now I'm going to say import into the current graph because now I want to merge them where the aliases are the same. Um, I want these passwords to link off them. Okay, I click finish, and there you see my graph start uh, expanding. You can see it's quite a it's quite a hefty graph at this stage. Just going to zoom out a bit, and there you can see it kind of spreading out uh, in dynamic view. So I'm just going to have a look at it in mining view at this stage. Um, and you'll see here, now we can start looking at stuff. Okay, well, we've got four different IPs for this guy. Uh, we've got two people using the same password. Obviously not, not a very strong one. Um, lots of these people logged on to the same machine and we have a password for one of them. So now I've started to correlate kind of the IP addresses, um, the usernames and the passwords. And now I can start doing link analysis on that and uh, joining this up to, to get intelligence on it. So that's quite a nice example of what you can do with uh, CSV files and importing them into multiple.